Hello guys and welcome! I hope that you're doing well. My name is I play 4K, aka I play 8K, aka I play 16K or UGD King. During this video, I'm going to show you the Java limitations in 2021 in terms of the multi trading capabilities, multi CPU capabilities, multi core capabilities uh, we're going to talk a lot we are going to talk a lot about two Xeon C5 2699 V3 series CPUs two of them running in a single motherboard in dual socket 2011 V3 and uh, we're going to talk about the retracer we're going to talk about FFmpeg++ video encoder video compressor video editor application that I'm developing for Windows and maybe Mac and Linux that's going to be based on FFmpeg open source library and we're going to talk about the retracing technologies through the CPU okay and the UHD Kings CPU benchmark that's going to utilize uh, the uh, CPU fully in video encoding and through the retracing capabilities okay so first of all I'm uh, on the screen Right now, you see in the middle the um, Eclipse, okay, the Java project, open source project by a talented Polish software developer, Bartosz Piniak, okay, and I decided to use his code as foundation uh, for my uh, UHD King CPU benchmark. But what I find out, guys, that actually um java using the pretty much built-in uh multi-threaded capabilities is not capable to utilize more than 60 64 uh threads okay it's it is a case of when you don't have 128 thread cpu at least okay there is a possibility that with 128 thread cpu it's going to utilize more than 64 cores in a second i'm going to explain to you but based on the simplicity and brilliance of uh, the uh bartosz Penik from poland and his retracing capabilities and his retracing technology and his engine that he pretty much uh, translated from uh, a book uh writing a retracer or retracing knowledge in uh, one week and he transferred the knowledge into the java and applied that knowledge in pretty simple as you can see algorithms that everybody can understand and pretty much he counted how many available processors is available and then he utilized them the threads count on those processors as you can see in the middle of the screen let me zoom in for you and pretty much he's utilizing all the code by the way i'm recording this uh, video today with nvidia shadow player which is amazing um technology i'm a big fan of nvidia ceo jensen huang the best video capture capabilities i believe that uh utilize and accelerate through the hardware and the video card since before maxwell gpu architectures and it's pretty much the best video uh, screen capture capabilities if you're using the NVIDIA technology. Anyway, so as you can see, the code is right here. Okay, so pretty much I'm using the retracing for CPU, utilizing all the 64 cores because two Xeon's E5 2699V3 CPUs or processors outputting total 72 logical cores and eight logical cores are empty right now. Why? Under the Windows 10 Professional, you can I'm um, displaying the kernel as you can see times as well. You can change the graph. You can do the overall utilization, logical processor, and NUMA nodes. Let me show you overall utilization. It's going to show 100%. This is 100% utilized utilized right now. Okay, let me show it to you right here. With the below 20 gigabytes of system RAM, total of 176 gigabytes of system RAM, 100% utilized at 2.8 gigahertz supposed to be 2.4 gigahertz because it's supposed to thermal throttle uh, and reach the pretty much the package cpu package right here 
which will be 145 watt if it's going to reach that then uh, it's going to switch to 24 multiplier automatically and uh, that means that it's going to be 2.4 gigahertz or 2400 megahertz clock and it's 2.8 gigahertz clock or 2800 megahertz why because only 64 cores are utilized logical processors and eight cores are empty and it's not reaching that thermal package let me go ahead and have a look as you can see i'm using the occt version 7.3.2 beautiful software we can have a look at the package and what we have all the information provided to you during this video will be so valuable for those people who's looking to build 2 c 52699 v3 as workstations but as again uh, during another video of cinema bench 3d r23 i'm going to explain why you don't want to do it and i'm going to explain the better strategy where you can apply that type of investment and receive even more benefits back so as you can see we're utilizing 121 watts not 145 watt so it's using the highest possible multiplier when you booting up your motherboard with 18 physical cores and 36 threads per cpu total output 72 logical cores maximum multiplier is available 28 which is 2.8 gigahertz so it's using that maximum tuba boost automatically while using my uh, or polish developer foundation ray tracer and it's going to be maybe included in my cpu benchmark we're going to find out but i'm disappointed in java because as again 64 cores only and let me show you the theory that could uh could prove me as wrong as you can see this is node zero utilized fully and uh, node one which is the secondary node utilized only with the kernel times so it's splitting the kernel times putting on a node second node and on the first node it's putting the load on the cpu when you're running uh, two cpus in dual socket 2011 v3 motherboard today i'm using the chinese motherboard and keep in mind that those two xeons right now running completely stock this motherboard is overclockable so instead of 2.8 gigahertz 28 multiplier i can output 36 multiplier which is 3.6 gigahertz or 3600 megahertz per each core per each thread okay so uh there is a possibility when you're using 128 thread cpu it's going to be four of those four nodes node zero node one node two and node three total four and it can do a first node and third node is loaded with instructions and second and fourth we only with the with the kernel and um, pretty much where eight when you're going to utilize four 64 threads nodes okay there is a possibility but it could be not the case it could be just a java limitation this is for those folks who who is into the java programming and into the multi-trading this is going to be a useful information go ahead and include you have my permission include this information into the forms this is my foundation as computer scientist regarding this so this is why i'm not going to use the java most likely i'm going to use the c sharp okay but we're going to find out uh, through the usd king cpu benchmark why because it's kind of hard uh, every time you're updating the eclipse to go ahead and download the right plugins go ahead and modify the virtual machines to go through all of this nonsense when in c sharp you can work 10 years code uh, automatically going to integrate for your environment in c sharp and you can work on first second uh the java has um, the package when you're packaging the software complication with that so this is another reason why i'm probably not going to use the java under c sharp you can execute it and it's going to be secure under the java it's not secure pretty much so you can uh, unpack it with the winrar so this is why it took me three days uh, while I was in shock that the whole United States enterprise code is not secure and John McAfee was absolutely right okay because Java is not secure but regarding the security there is another issue when you can get the information and encode it and decode it in the system RAM and get pretty much the answer so you can use that answer uh, this is how the the people writing the key uh, generators and key generators and such. But uh, today we're not going to talk about it. As again, you, you want to cross that line. You want to be a software developer by watching UGD King YouTube channel. Anyways, this is what I find out, guys, and this is the my findings.
okay but i believe it's a java utiliza uh, problem but it's still utilizing it's tell us that it's utilizing 100 percent our cpu when it's not there is a eight cores still available to us so the system is not frozen first of all secondary it's supposed to utilize all the cores based on the code but as again maybe java developers were so smart so it's splitting the kernels to those cores eight cores so we can still utilize them and then it's going to be a next luma core uh, node will be utilized after that possibility but this is again probably limited type of people will be running java on two xeons e5 that each will be outputting over 32 logical cores which will be even more than that 36 logical cores actually per each cpu but this is guys a secret and by the way as again i know that xeon c5 2600 series v3 cpus are overclockable through the bias modification not overclockable overclockable but modifiable and you can boost up as again multiplier to 36 3.6 gigahertz as again this is a stock this is what you're going to achieve on any type of motherboards okay beautiful performance as you can see the either performance right here let me zoom in for for you folks i'm computing right now let me provide some information only this a polish developer will understand only the Bartosz Peniak will understand his his, his writings. Uh, he's using Java, JavaFX, Movan, JavaDoc, and Scene Builder for the user interface. Okay, and uh, as again, most likely, I'm not going to use his code, but I, uh, I plan to use his code as my foundation just to boost up the um, development of the USG King CPU benchmark. But we're going to use something else. Most likely, I'm going to use the C Sharp language and. Uh, um, I'm going to use the video encoding capabilities under the FFmpeg++ and there is a possibility I'm going to come up with some ray tracer. I want to use the ray tracer that's going to utilize all the available CPU cores guys and it's hard to do keep that in mind. It's hard uh, pretty much tasks to utilize all the available CPU cores to look like on the modern uh, programming languages. OPP. I mean OOP object-oriented programming languages okay 40 cores those 72 logical cores utilizes 40 uh, physical real live cores but actually I'm using 36 physical cores and uh, 72 threads so pretty much it's like another 36 threads acting as four physical cores under the UNC 52600 series v3 and uh, I will explain to you guys why it's not a great buy for the future as workstation and I'm going to show you and uh, what will be the solution and uh, how you can invest this money towards a better workstation that's going to bring you more benefits and value and all this information will be available over the hdking.com YouTube channel okay you don't want to miss and uh, over as again you want to support it and over some forms you can pretty much share this information let me real quick go ahead and show you how it's compared to amd ryzen 3950x of course 5950x will be faster but to the stock scored 12463 under multi-thread this is what we interested as workstation and single thread this is what we interested as the gaming station per single core performance okay and this is the 7000 series extreme intel desktop core i9 7980 which is absolutely amazing we're beating it up as you can see even if you're going to overclock it you will never achieve our score stock as workstation and as again when all the cores utilize okay and under the cpu z it was all the 72 logical cores utilized during the benchmark okay not just a new the course keep that in mind they're using some interesting approaches okay so this is the titan rtx single video card under the maximum overclock so two of them will produce under the double precision mandal 320 fps but still the cpu will be faster on the double precision mandal points which will be almost 400 fps and it's running stock everything else titan will be dominating because 4608 cores or uh, RTX 2080 Ti also will be dominating here, even the single video card. Okay, this is the score. 
for this thing who is interested as again i'm going to show you the 3d rendering and all kind of different workstation benchmarks over the different videos but this is about this video as again developer the polish developer will understand right now i'm running 15,360 pixels on width by 8,640 pixels on height retracing under the second benchmark and uh, with the 10,000 10,000 samples okay of uh, tracers and uh, 20 okay this is going to be uh, the test and I think it's going to take hopefully one day I'm just curious when it's going to finish it uh, finish the whole deal and there is a possibility maybe I'm going to use his work under my C sharp under the CPU benchmark but as you can see it's pretty interesting going on stuff over here not only for the Java developers for those who's running Java code most likely a lot of Indian teams will be sharing this over their forums go ahead and do the do that guys you have my permission so again I'm coming real time uh, sorry, I can hear the echo through my speakers. Uh, but a beautiful CPUs, but not in the end of 2021, in the beginning of 2022. Those $400 value of those two CPUs, you can invest into better platform and into faster and more valuable system. And over the UHDKing.com, I'm going to show you and we're going to talk about it. But anyways, this is what's up, guys. As you saw, this is the utilization. And on the background, this is my system. System. Let me show you the temperature under the heavy load. Today the system is cooled with the Corsair uh, H150i uh, 360mm water coolers uh, with only one fan installed on each. It's running nice, quiet and silent and uh, pretty much frozen as you can see. Those CPUs can go up to 84 Celsius before it's going to thermal throttle. They, uh, another reason why I don't like, as again, Eclipse, this new Eclipse version from 2021 required the version 1.8 uh, Java Virtual Machine doesn't work. Required 11 version, and it's an error, you gotta type the code, and every time you're gonna update the Eclipse, you gotta do it. It's so annoying. Under the C Shop, you don't have to do it. So packaging the uh, source code into the binary so people can use it is not done correctly under the Java. That's why I'm not gonna use it. Then um, all the IDE annoying experience, and of course the limitation of the whole language. But the language is great, but as again the limitation, and it's it's not that easy. But this uh, Polish developer is just brilliant mind. He converted from that book. I'm going to include the book and in video description of this video for those people who's curious about the ray tracing. You can convert it in your language, but it's written in C, I believe, or C++. And this Polish developer converted into Java and he implemented the multi-threading capabilities. And as you can see, just a normal Java multi-threading capabilities I believe this is maxed out so it's going to be 64 core CPU cores maximum that means that in 2021 not enough you need to last more I can try to uh, do the two benchmarks like this under my CPU benchmark and utilize all the available uh, cores up to 128 threads total Okay, there is a possibility, but as again, just because it's Java, just because it's hard to convert as a package, as a binary for the end user, it's it's kept a lot under the Mac and Linux, but as again, it's so hard uh, to do that in Eclipse, and uh, we're going to find out. Maybe I'm going to use the Java, but most likely it's going to be a C Sharp because I'm so fast with that language. Uh, I, I have so much experience with C-sharp programming languages uh, since 2010, even 2008, I believe the first time, after the ActionScript 3.0, which was similar OOP language as C-sharp. Okay, let me, uh, guys, as again, CPU-Z, let me show you the CPU-Z for those naysayers. And this is multi-angle videos again. This is information for the enthusiast, dual socket, so each CPU 18 physical cores, 36 threads, 2800 megahertz, 28 multiplier, and it's chilling, but it's utilized completely. And it's still chilling, which is nice. Nice temperature, not limiting that package. And with the hack and the bias, 
when you're running Java, you're going to benefit, as you can see, when you're going to use the multi-threading capabilities of Java, because only 64 threads per particular CPU, and then the eight cores will be almost idling, and it's gonna keep your CPU pretty much cool, quiet, under maximum tuba boost, but under the Java, for the computer scientists, maybe it's going to be a great buy, those two CPUs, exactly this combo, just to keep them cool, and at maximum boost and on top of it use my bias modification and buy the particular Chinese motherboard I'm going to show you step-by-step -step instructions how to modify it how to hack it but it's again it's going to be only your lo local motherboard it's, I'm not going to show you how to hack everybody okay I'm going to show you how to hack your own computer so you can uh, boost up the uh, maximum performance of that computer and that parts so this is the information about this. As you can see, it has two PCI Express 16 times lanes for those who's looking to build this motherboard. Platform for the Haswell EEP C612. Uh, it says that 192 gigabytes of system RAM maximum capabilities under the IDA64, but I believe the 256 gigabytes of unbuffer desktop memory will be no problem, as well as register server memory will be no problem on this Chinese motherboard. So I believe the IDA64 is not recognizing correctly. It only runs quad channel, true quad channel guys, based on benchmark and outputs on this motherboard. When you're running two CPUs, about four cores each. Otherwise it's going to be dual channel. Titan RTX, and this is how it's scored. So you saw how it's scored. Let me show you some other processors real quick. And uh, just because it's a beautiful video, a multi-angle video with a lot of information provided for the computer scientists, for the hardware enthusiasts, overclockers, everyone who's building low-budget uh, desktop or workstation. This is a workstation, guys. This is not the gaming rig, but you can game games on it. As you can see, I'm testing it, and I'm going to prove it to you in the facts recorded with NVIDIA Shadowplay, beautiful software. As again, I'm big in, uh, enthusiast of that product. Um, of the software and services by NVIDIA screen capture and big fan of the Jensen Huang NVIDIA CEO and his products as hardware such as uh, video cards and AI capabilities okay so this is guys the CPUs how it's scored a lot of famous CPUs was there as again I'm building UG King uh, CPU benchmark as well as FFmpeg++ freeware application Big thank you to other uh, Bartosz Peniak from Poland. Okay, next time go ahead and uh, comment in English, uh, sir, because it's going to be much better for everybody to understand. Okay, so uh, that's it, guys. I showed you the capability. Stay tuned. This is why most likely the CPU benchmark by HD King and FF Impact Plus Plus technology is not going to be developed on Java uh, because those type of limitations and. Uh, It's not going to be uh, great for my uh, products that I'm trying to develop for you as a freeware before we're going to jump into the mobile software development where we all together over the USD King will develop a software for the iOS and Androids. Okay, mobile software such as games and uh, just applications. On the background, this is the system that I'm having, beautiful system. And yeah, utilizing, I'm curious how much time it's going to take uh, to uh, render 15,360 pixels by 8,640 pixel true retracing without any cheats but as again if you're gonna be a lawyer you're like okay no cheats come on uh, nobody knows where is the retracing is it's just a different um, algorithms but beautiful approach as again by the book that I'm going to include in the video description it's available for free to download to anyone and you can transfer it's uh, the the language that it's written uh, easy to understand for the programmer with five dash seven years experience the programming with his heart and you're going to learn the ray tracing but uh, maybe it's not the ray tracing for me the in the book it's ray tracing for me but uh, the foundation of the polish developer maybe not going to be ray tracing for me or maybe it's going to be ray tracing for my freeware software so we're going to find out but anyways guys more videos are available go ahead and smash that like button subscribe hopefully you enjoyed this video share it on the forums and as again i play 4k aka i play 8k 
aka I play 16k or UHD King. What with you today? Stay healthy, stay well. Uh, happy holidays. It's going to be uh, some giveaways over the UHD King. Uh, study the computer scientist it's the future and the soundtrack that is sounding today during audio track during this video is pretty much uh copyrighted and i purchased the license uh the commercial license to use it so the no royalties can be claimed contact me if you have any questions but make sure that you have a right to represent this product okay i will see you guys in the next videos till the next time